Okay, so earlier this week, we went on a short trip with my husband for work, and we were gone for two days, um, and so I did not want us to not do school those days. Um, I also didn't want to haul tons and tons of curriculum with us just for two days. So I got my little bag here, and I want to show you what I took with us um, so that we could still do school on the go without needing to take like a huge amount of stuff. So this is just, I have no idea what type of bag this is. It's from 31 Gifts, but I don't know its name or anything like that. So anyway, here's what's in it. Um, so for, for CC, for Classical Conversations, I have um, these flip charts that um, I will link to. I've shown those before in a previous video, but this covers each week's memory work. Um, I have a big version that's very colorful and then I have a smaller version, this flip book that has the same information. Just um, This is like four by six size. And so we use these in the car. I passed this back to Hudson um, and I held this one. He is, he just turned six and he can't read yet, but he was able to look at the pictures um, as, you know, as we were going. And so um, in the car on the way there, we were able to review some of the different um, memory work that we were doing. Uh, let's see, I took for their Bible lessons, um, we have these coloring books that they got for Christmas um, that just have a story and a picture, and so we would read the story and then they would color the picture. We'll stuff those in there. Um, let's see here, for math, I brought our two abacuses so the boys could each have one, and I brought a set of the number cards. Um, this is These are the containers that I store our Right Start Math manipulatives in, and I have a video about that I'll link. Um, but I was able to just pull this out of my box of math manipulatives and stick it in my bag, and we were good to go. And so we played um, a game called Go to the Dump, which practices um, some of the skills that he's been learning. So we use that as review. And then also while we were driving or in the hotel or uh, we went to a library one day, we just used the advocates to practice um, a bunch of different skills like counting and uh, recognizing numbers and subitizing and that kind of stuff. For language arts, um, I packed the Logic of English whiteboard and his little, I've laminated this that has his cursive letters and I packed a, oh, sorry, packed um, a whiteboard and I mean a dry erase marker so he's able to practice his letters and I would just call it a letter and he would practice those. I also brought um, the phonogram cards which I keep these in these boxes at home so again I was able to just grab it and stick it in my bag so that we could play a game called Rotten Egg that practices his phonograms and I packed a set of the high frequency words that he has been working on so we could practice those. This is a reader from Logic the English. He had read it earlier the week before, and I just went ahead and packed it so we could read it again and practice it again. Um, I have this little box. I think I got it at Dollar Tree or Target, and I just had some pencils and the dry erase marker. I stuck the high frequency words in there. The boys each have uh, a set of crayons in their backpacks that we use for church and for CC and for travel, and so they already had their crayons to color, um, and then... That, that was it. I mean, I, I didn't have to pack those. They had some worksheets for classical conversations that were just some coloring sheets. Obviously, they've already done those, and so I filed them away, but that was in there. And then I just packed some books. We were reading Mrs. Piggle Wiggle, so I packed that to finish. I grabbed a couple of Magic Tree Houses. We read one. We didn't read all of them. I had this, um, one of the Who Was books because we just learned about him in CC. We didn't get that read, but I just packed a bunch just in case. I didn't know how much downtime we would have, but these were good for the hotel to read. So anyway, that was everything. I didn't pack anything else, um, so it didn't take up a lot of space in the car. It was stuff we could easily do um, in the car or like the games, the go to the dump and the rotten egg, the games from our Right Start Math and our Logic of English. We did those at restaurants waiting for... Um, our food, so that was good. So anyway, it was just really easy to review um, and work on our homeschool stuff while on the go without packing a bunch of stuff with us.